Welcome to The Wildlife, a series from the National Trust taking you on a journey around our island's exceptional wild places. This week we're heading to the wonderful woodlands of Wales. In this stunning corner of Ereri, also known as Snowdonia, National Trust Cymru Rangers are planting native saplings to store carbon and boost nature and wildlife. Writer and TV presenter Jules Hudson met with Ranger Dave Smith to find out more about the project and explore the nearby ancient woodlands. Dave, what a wonderful walk up this hillside and the waterfall, absolutely stunning. Just the most gorgeous environment. I've been knocking around this valley for 30 years. It is still my favourite spot in Wales. So this is one of the last patches of the Celtic temperate rainforest that are clinging on on the west coast of Britain and Ireland. I had no idea until now that this was rainforest. We tend to associate that with other more exotic parts of the world. Yeah, well, it's not tropical rainforest, it's temperate rainforest. Okay. And it's classified as that because it is so damp. So these mosses, liverworts and lichens, they're damp all the time and they're, they're thriving in those conditions. This unique patch of Celtic rainforest also holds a special fascination for visitors and local volunteers like Ingrid Moore. The Celtic temperate rainforest I find just absolutely stunning. The place is just so abundant, dripping in mosses, lichens, all sorts, little creepy crawlies if you look closely. I find that exuberance of life really stunning. I think it's very important to have more diverse mixed woodland. It creates such an important environment for the whole biodiversity. The National Trust has established a tree nursery in Wales, where rangers and volunteers are growing trees adapted to the local environment and promoting rare and endangered species. I find this job really exciting because you're following the tree for its whole process. You're going out, you're collecting the seeds from the local area, you're caring for them, and then eventually planting out the tree. And that tree could live for thousands of years and provide lots of habitats for different species. Hey Hattie. Hello, here we go. Lovely, thank you very much Bye. indeed. <laughs> Let's find these a new home then, Dave. Yeah. Plenty of space to choose from. There is. <laughs> when you look around us here now, it's hard to believe that once upon a time, not that long ago, we are now standing on what was an estuary. Yeah, about 200 years ago, they built a cob in Port Maddock to reclaim all the land from over there, which is about five miles away. Yeah right the way up to another mile up the valley. The only thing that was growing here was were couch grass and soft rush, and it's not much use for, for grazing or anything else, really. Right then, so very simple so, job, I suppose. Make a simple hold Simple job. Pop clear, it in. clear the rushes away so we've yeah. got to the soil. Yeah. So we put in two trees. Yep. Amongst many thousands more that the Trust are planting nationally across Northern Ireland, England and Wales, it's a massive project, this is a huge ambition behind it. 20 million trees, yeah, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot of rangers like me out there across the country all getting stuck in, planting local trees in the right location. So these trees are going to improve it for, for conservation particularly, but eventually we'll be able to graze underneath them and it'll be an improvement for agriculture as well. Well, I wish you the best of luck, young tree. Well, Dave, that is a view to savour, isn't it? It's not bad, is it? The work you're doing here, Dave, is crucial not just for this landscape, but in tackling this climate emergency that we're now facing. Britain's been described as the most nature-depleted country in the world. Um, Britain's got the least tree cover in Europe, so we need to act fast, and the trees that we're protecting and the trees that we're planting will be soaking up carbon for years and years to come, and that's going to be the solution that we need and we need to act, we need to act fast, but the, the solutions are there and we can do it. Well there we go, what a place and what a thought upon which to finish. Dave, it's been an absolute pleasure, thank you very much. Yeah, same, thank you. Jochen Vah. 
Professor. <laughs> To find out more about how you can help protect nature, visit nationaltrust.org.uk.